Let's continue with the scanner class and learn how to clear the buffer. We'll find out what that means. First of all, I'm using the same program I created in the first YouTube video called First Scanner Example. Please refer to that video if you need more information. What we are going to do is we've created a variable called sName of type string, another variable called iAge of type int, and another variable called myScan of type scanner. This actually will be a new object that gets created and works with the keyboard to get data from that keyboard. On this statement, we said enter your name, and then we said use the scanner object and get string data from the keyboard. Once they press enter, we put that data into the variable sname. Then we type in, we display on the screen, enter the age. Whatever they type in, the scanner object will then look as, as an integer until they press the enter key and put that into the iAge variable. Watch what happens if I copy this statement. I'll put it down here and I'm going to create another variable called string s school. What school do they go to? And I'll change these variables. So we should get the name, we should get the age, and then we get the school. So we're getting a string value, an integer value, and a string value. Let's run it and see what happens. I type in my name, enter. I type in the age, enter. It jumped right over enter the school. Even though I have a variable called sschool that wants that string data. What happens is this. Have you ever put your arm on the keyboard by mistake and then all of a sudden the computer starts beeping at you really fast? We have what they call a keyboard buffer. As you type in keys from the keyboard, they get placed into the buffer or into memory. When we typed in Greg and pressed enter, GREG enter key went into the keyboard buffer. The next line grabbed all of that data up to the carriage return, the enter key, and treated it as string data and put it into the variable. Then we typed in 50 enter. The keyboard grabbed the 5 and the 0 and knew that that was integer data because we said go get next int. However, it left the enter key in the keyboard buffer still. Why? Because it is not it is not integer data. It's string data. So it took the 5 and 0 and stored that into the variable iAge. Then we said enter the school. Go to the object, go grab string data from the keyboard buffer. Well, guess what? You already have string data in the keyboard buffer, the enter key. So this method for the scanner object says, hey, any data out in the keyboard buffer? The enter key says, I'm here. So it grabs that enter key and throws the data into this variable. In other words, we don't get any data from our keyboard and it just skips that line. So how do you stop that from happening? You need to clear the keyboard buffer. If you've gotten an integer data from the keyboard and then you want to get a string data, you need to flush the buffer. Here's how you do it. Simply use your scanner object and type in next line. We don't care what we're doing with the data. We're just throwing it away. That's why we didn't assign it to a variable. But this will actually flush the buffer. Let's try that and see if it works now. Greg, enter. 5-0, enter. Flush the buffer. Now it's waiting for the school. BYU, enter. That's how you clear the keyboard buffer when working with string data and non-string data.